Welcome back to the Tinnitus Treatment Channel and today I'm just going to go over uh, tinnitus causes and basically um, common and not so common causes um, of tinnitus and how it comes about. Um, so it's sort of divided roughly um, into two categories I'd say. You've got your physical and you've got your psychological causes. So. Um, when it comes to physical causes, generally, and I'm talking, um, this is the most common when you look at it, it's when you have middle and inner ear obstructions or damage, or it could be a combination of both. So, um, basically, you know, these kinds of things can be earwax buildup or infections in the ear or, or, or a number of different things, but on the physical side of things, when it comes to tinnitus occurring, it's usually this, it's obstruction or damage within the inner or the middle ear. Um, now this can also be linked, um, but it can be separate again with the psychological causes. And um, this, is in spe this is specifically when it comes to the auditory nerve. So if you've seen my previous videos, um, especially with the TRT Neuromonics model, it's all about basically our, um, our subconscious connection with the cochlea and the auditory nerve. Um, and um, yeah, it, uh, again, it just depends on how severe and what, uh, what level of, uh, of subconscious link you have and um, again, situations like stress and hypertension and, and uh, you know, and, and, and just generally your health and circulation in, in your body also, again, can be symptoms that, that lead to these psychological causes and, and, and all these sorts of things. So it's a mixture of things, but if you break it down into two categories, you've got your physical and your psychological causes. And um, yeah, and then again, once we have these two categories, we break them down again, and we've got our bilateral, our unilateral, and our pulsatile tinnitus. So um, when we look at our bilateral tinnitus, this is obviously when it affects both your ears. Um, and gen generally the causes of bilateral tinnitus um, come from medications, um, stress, again, like I mentioned before, uh, when, you, uh, when you get uh, damaged, a damaged eardrum from loud noises and also if you get damaged hair cells as well. So, um, yeah, bilateral is usually not as severe as unilateral or pulsatile by any means, um, but uh, it's generally the smaller causes and symptoms so just be careful with the medications you're taking and uh, if you are around loud noises and uh, and things like this then generally that's when bilateral tinnitus will occur. Uh, when we look at unilateral tinnitus that's when it comes from one ear um, this is a little more severe um, and it also does tie into pulsatile tinnitus so I mean looks like if we're looking at common causes again I've talked about this in previous videos but uh, impacted earwax in the ear um, also, uh, inner, inner ear infections that push on the eardrum. So, you know, uh, basically, you know, anything that's preventing external noise from, from entering the ear, anything that it increases the internal noises um, occurring within the ear, it'll lead to unilateral tinnitus. Um, and again, this obviously leads to pulsatile tinnitus. So pulsatile tinnitus is just about irregular blood flow that's happening through the head and neck area. Again, if you look at common causes, you've got your ASVD, you've got cholesterol buildup in the uh, artery walls. Um, you've got your inner ear infections, as I said, and... Um, uh, oh, jeez, what was the other one? Oh, medication, of course. <laughs> medication and, and uh, any, anything that really is creating irregular blood flow uh, around the area. So as always, I mean, it's good to know this information so you can gauge which category, whether it's, you know, physical or whether it's um, psychological. Um, and then just you can get a gauge of, okay, is it happening in both my ears or in one of my ears? Okay, if it's happening in one of my ears. Um, you know, you can go to your doctor, you can tell them these things, it's going to make their job a lot easier to determine what exactly you're suffering from, and then again, which treatment is the best to use. Um, so yeah, I've got all this uh, information down on the website as usual, so www.treatmenttinnitus.org. Um, I've got a link, as usual again, just under the video. The link will take you to this post of the causes of tinnitus. Um, uh, but yeah, look, 
there's a wealth of information on the website as usual so go on there have a read determine what uh, relates to you or what relates to your friend if you're looking up um, you know these courses and a friend of yours is suffering um, and by all means you know um, have a look at our products and services page because uh, well you know if, if it's not as severe definitely have a look and you might be able to find a treatment that suits you all right we'll see you in the next video